Hey guys, I really cannot wait to show you guys this video and show you guys how to make this. Besides the cheesecake that I made a couple months ago, this is probably the easiest dessert that I've ever made. It's cheap and easy and will go great with anything, honestly. Uh, I know I said I would make a blueberry cobbler on my Facebook post, but they didn't have any blueberries. So I got the next best thing was cherries. I like cherries better than blueberries, but that's me. Uh, this dessert is very versatile, so all you'd have to do is omit the cherries or blueberries and put in something else. You can even put in apples if you want to. Um, I used pie filling in mine. Uh, I think it'd be better and easier because pie filling is going to set up. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So this recipe is really simple. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with one cup of milk. I'm going to put that in my measuring cup. And uh, this recipe only needs like five ingredients. It's really simple and really easy. Uh, next, I'm going to start off with a cup of sugar. It's a cup of everything, really. So that's what makes it really easy. Uh, I should have put the sugar in first before the milk, but oh well. It got stuck to the bottom, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, while I'm doing this, uh, you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Uh, and I would make this while it's preheating, so it makes it makes your life easier. <laughs> Whoops. Now I'm just going to put that in with my milk. And don't worry, I'll scrape the rest of that sugar out of that, out of that measuring cup. And then all you need is a cup of flour. And you just put that right in. And then you mix it. I would, I would, uh, I would uh, mix this with a whisk. I use this so I can just uh, scrape all of it. But I would prefer you mix this with a whisk so it gets all the lumps out. Alright, so um, I'm whisking it and I'm just showing you guys uh, how watery it's going to be. Don't worry if it doesn't look thick. It's supposed to be watery. It will set up just fine uh, when it gets in the oven. So yeah, I'm just whisking it to get the lumps out right now. Uh, now I have about one tablespoon of butter. Uh, I've melted it in the microwave and I'm just going to pour it at the bottom of my pan. And all you just need to do is let it slosh around and get all over the place. It looks like a lot of butter, but it's not. And now I have one can of cherry pie filling. Uh, you can use you can use regular peaches, peaches in the can, or blueberry pie filling, or even apple pie filling. This recipe is, is very versatile. So you use whatever you want. Now I'm just going to scrape all the cherry pie filling out because I don't like to leave anything behind. <laughs> Remember guys, scrape that bow, scrape everything. You do not want to leave any of this behind. <laughs> now you just need to, to spread out all the cherries and everything so it gets into every nook and cranny. And now you're just going to uh, pour that all over the top. Yeah, just pour it all over the top everywhere. And it looks a little bit watery, but that's fine. It will look like that. It will set up in the it will set up in the oven. So don't worry about it. Scrape that bow, guys. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm just trying to get all the all the batter mixed in. I'm just moving it to see how watery it is. Now just put it in the oven on a 350 degree preheated oven. <laughs> And I would bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes until it gets a golden crust on top. And look at that. It looks amazing. And it's so it's best served with vanilla ice cream. Alright, so it just came out of the oven. And I got me a little bit here. I didn't want a lot. But that's how it looks. I just got the littlest bit that I can because I wouldn't eat a lot of this. But let's try it. Let's get some of this. Wow. 
do we have to do to charge? Mm -hmm. I'm not even a, a big fan of cobblers, and I would definitely eat this. You could have it warm with some vanilla ice cream, and that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, this would be easy. This would be a really easy dessert to fix for any occasion. Uh, birthdays, holidays, anything. So I'd definitely fix this. It's very cost efficient. It cost me about two dollars to fix because I had to go and pick up things for it. But it's super easy. And I don't know why you wouldn't fix this because it's so good. But anyway, I hope you guys make this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment and like and subscribe. Uh, I will be posting a Dollar General and Walgreens video <clears throat> about some scenarios that I've made. Uh, I'm not really going to look at the weekly ad because uh, I just don't have time to do that. I've already made these scenarios and I was just going to make one big video about it. Don't forget to enter into my giveaway. Uh, <clears throat> the deadline for that or whenever I <clears throat> sorry, whenever I close the giveaway would be on Friday on the 10th. Yeah. <clears throat> so don't forget to enter in. My Facebook page will be down the, down below and I will have the the link to enter into my giveaway it's on my facebook page so anyway <laughs> i hope you guys have a good day i hope you guys make this because it's the best thing that ever <laughs> i'm not even a fan of cobbler i said that before but anyway i hope you guys have a good day bye